We have indeed a very deep crisis in Europe and we need to react to that. And I think it's a big moment of responsibility, of thinking together that we're joining hands and we're thinking of how to get together out of this crisis. In this parliament with the broad majority has shown a way forward with a substantial recovery fund, a strong MFF, a strong budget, and a green deal that helps the economy while addressing the climate crisis and the biodiversity crisis, which have gone nowhere. And I'm very glad to say that Greens all over Europe are actually supporting that. So I'm, a bit, I'm afraid, uh, Mr. Weber, dear Manfred, that it's a bit cheap to hide behind the Greens when we actually have a strong support, also public support, from the Austrian Greens who are supporting our position and the position of this parliament. Maybe it's rather your uh, best friend uh, in Vienna uh, who is uh, causing the problem, but I'm glad to see that you're also ready uh, and willing to convince them and try to convince them. And I'm glad we can join forces there and uh, try indeed our common job to convince uh, governments all over, parties all over, because that is what we need to do now. Because I do believe that the Commission proposal is a very big step forward. And we welcome the focus that you've put on grants to make sure that no member state is left behind in this crisis. The overall volume might not prove sufficient in time, but in any case, what we need to make sure is that we don't lessen the ambitions on the MFF because we also need to think further ahead. You have mentioned, colleagues have mentioned, conditions attached to the fund. And I would urge us all to not repeat the big mistakes of the past and force countries into austerity and blind market ideolog ideologies that have never worked and will not work. Instead, we need to make sure that the money is well invested into projects um, that will help in the long term, that create jobs and that save the one planet that we have. And to be meaningful in the long term, both the recovery fund and the MFF need to incentivize the social and ecological transformation of our economy and promote gender equality, big problem we've seen in this crisis. And they also need to follow, follow our minimum common rules, such as the rule of law and democracy. Some governments think that they can do it all alone, but I think they should think again. They have all benefited as much as, and even more than other member states, from the single market, from freedom of movement, and some, unfortunately, also from a bit too lax tax rules. And dear colleagues, Europe needs a strong step ahead. It needs courageous action like that of Schumann 70 years ago. And this parliament has shown it's ready to do its part. I hope the member states will follow. Thank you. Thank you very much, Mrs. Keller.